Now I'm pretty safe in saying that nobody out there really wants to weigh down their bike with loads of extras and add-ons. And one item which seems to cause a lot of controversy among cyclists is a saddlebag. For some reason, people out there, they don't like to put them on their bikes that often. The reason being is that they don't think they're aesthetically pleasing to a sleek road racing machine. But I totally disagree. I don't like to have my jersey pockets stuffed full of spares. Instead, I like to have a nice minimalistic saddlebag. So today, I'm gonna show you exactly what to put in one of those. Now for this video, I've chosen the Aero Wedge Eye Glow from our friends at Toppy because, well, it's pretty cool. It's nice, small, lightweight, and it has the added benefit of a light there for safety features. Now for many years, I actually only took with me the bare minimum while out riding. So let's go through those products and we'll talk about the extras afterwards. So first up, we need to take an inner tube with us, don't we, let's face it. Now they come in all different shapes and sizes and valve lengths, so you need to make sure that whatever you've got with you is going to fit into your wheels. There's nothing more frustrating than finding yourself with a replacement inner tube, but the valve is too short. In fact, that's probably more frustrating than an inner tube because this is something you can actually determine, whereas a puncture, you can't. So make sure the valve is the right length for any deep section rims or vice versa. If in doubt, always take a longer valve version with you. Therefore, it will fit whatever rims you do have on your bike at the time. Also, you can find yourself with a light version of an inner tube. So this one here from Continental is slightly lighter in weight than the standard one, meaning, you've guessed right, you can compact it down even more. Now, if I had one of the supersonic inner tubes too from Continental, that would go even smaller again. Bear in mind though, if you wanna go minimalistic, super lightweight, you're only gonna be taking one of these. So if that is the case, possibly put in some spare inner tube puncture repair patches, so something like the self-adhesive ones, which I've recently demonstrated on how to use. And well, at least you're gonna be covered in the unfortunate incident of more than one puncture. Tire levers. Yeah, that's right. I know some people out there will be saying, if you want a really super light saddlebag, you don't need tire levers, but I reckon you do because sometimes you have a really tight tire and rim combination and they are so stubborn to remove. Also, make sure that they are strong enough and up to the job because not all tire levers are created equally and I have known a few in the past to snap when trying to remove them. So make sure you go through a dummy run if in doubt. Now we are gonna to need to be able to put some pressure back into an inner tube if we have a puncture. And the debate will go on, I'm sure, in the comment section below, CO2 or mini pump. Let me know your preference. Either way, let's go through the two different options then. Firstly, CO2, it has to be said, not possibly the best thing for the environment because the cartridges are a single use only. So once you've used it, you have to dispose of it. But the good thing about them is you get back up to pressure in almost no time at all. And also they can fit in almost all of saddlebags out there, even the tiniest ones possible. What about the other option then? And that is a mini pump. Now, admittedly, they're not all gonna fit inside of a small little saddlebag, but something like the little micro rocket here, this will importantly. Otherwise, you could always attach another type of mini pump like this one here with a gauge on it with an old toe strap or something underneath the saddlebag. But like I said, this one will actually fit inside of the saddlebag itself. Believe it or not, this is what I used to take with me out on bike rides for donkey's years. And well, it seemed to always get me through all right. But well, don't make the same mistake that I could have had because I could well have had a snap chain or something. So I'd always recommend an extra little item to go inside. And that is a multi-tool. So get yourself one with as many functions as possible, but as lightweight, I guess, because that's what this video is all about. And something to really bear in mind is to try and get yourself a multi-tool that has a chain tool fitted on it. The reason I say that is because, well, a passerby in a vehicle who maybe he's got a little tool kit in there or something, he might be able to help you with a, an Allen key head or something, but a chain tool is a really specialist bit of kit. That's why I would always advise taking one, despite me sounding like an absolute hypocrite, because probably for 15 or 20 years, I never used to take one. But well, they're so small these days, just check that out. I can easily fit inside of that saddlebag too. So we'll just put that in there with a little protective sheath over it there so that none of those bits are gonna possibly rub on the inner tube itself. If in doubt, by the way, with an inner tube, you can always wrap it up in something like cling film or tin foil to actually stop it from rubbing on anything and a hole wearing away because that can happen after many years. But we can just put that in there and we're good to go. 
What then, if you've already got yourself a multi-tool, you don't wanna go putting anything extra in your jersey pockets because you've already got your mobile phone in there, you've already got your rain cape, you've already got your jam sandwiches ready to eat out on that big ride. Well, what about these bar end plugs, right? They're called the Topic Ninja C, and essentially, you put them in either side of your handlebar ends, and then you've got, as well as a four millimeter Allen key, a chain tool too. How absolutely fantastic is that? So you can just wedge it in there nicely in place in the end of the bars. You can adjust it too, just by adjusting it like so. And it gives this sort of rubber wedge a little more girth, enabling you to just wedge it in the end there so it stays firmly in place. I do like little solutions like that. Stealth solutions, nice. There we are, the super light minimalistic saddle bag. Those are really the bare essentials you need for an emergency. Let me know though, what do you take in your saddle bag? In fact, are you a saddle bag lover or hater? Because it's a real split decision out there. Don't forget, subscribe to the GCN Tech channel by clicking that subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you get notified each and every time we put a video live. Also remember to like and share this video with your friends too. Share it with someone who never has the correct spares when you're out on a bike ride, why not? And also remember to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com where we've got a whole heap of goodies for you to check out. And while me, I'm going to go out for a quick ride.